Hey, welcome into Friday Football Frenzy. And just like the first few weeks of the 2016 season, weather had a hand in how this Friday night played out. John Popovich along with Ken Brew. John, you're right. Most of tonight's games were delayed by the thunderstorm, but they all played, including the Coleraine Cardinals, who had a big road conference game tonight. Tom Bolden sitting on 99 career wins, but his mission tonight was get his Coleraine team to beat Princeton and stay undefeated. Cardinals soar ahead 24-7 just before the half, looking for more, but Raymond Kalowski of uh, Princeton had other ideas. Great interception in the end zone there. Heading to the second half, Deion Andrews doing what Coleraine does best, run with that rock. It's always been that way. He picks up 30 yards on this run, and that sets up a five-yard plunge by Coleraine's big guy. That's Manello Caldwell. The Cardinals win big. Congratulations to Tom Bolden on career win number 100. Well, it may not be a surprise in Hamilton, but the rest of us kind of surprised with the start of the Big Blue. Tonight, it rolled into Sycamore, and Vince Sanford was on his game early. Ah, but so too was that Sycamore defense. Eric Jackson on the carry, but the Aves defense makes the stop. And big time. And then one of the best running backs in the Tri-State takes over. Rayvon Bonner, who just keeps going oh, wow. and going and just barely misses the end zone. But the Aves gave it to him again, and this time, no problem. Hamilton was 3-0 before tonight, but it's Sycamore that wins this game. 41-20 is the final. Bonner had five touchdowns in that game. Five. Yeah. Somebody's going to get a good player next season. Yeah. In the Commonwealth, it wasn't hard to pick out what should have been the best matchup of the night. And that game was at Cooper High School. The only problem is you had to get there early because Simon Kenton charged out to a 32-13 lead. Cooper tried to rally back Jared Loniger over the top to a streaking Dylan Perry. And that's a big gainer inside the 20-yard line. Then it was Jaden Jackson who closed out the drive with a run, and Cooper had some thoughts of making a comeback in this game. But the Pioneers can pound the ball, and Dylan Hampton was fighting very hard to pick up just six yards here. And then it was Cameron Rackey with a quick drop. He finds Fisher Hayden with a 20-yard pitch and catch. Simon Kenton improves to 5-0. and oh. They take apart Cooper tonight, 46-20. to 20. Now in the Southwest Ohio Public League, Tap was off to a 2-1 and one start, but the Senators had to play at CHCA tonight. The Senators quorum here. Marvin Hall takes the ball into the end zone. Tap had cut CHCA's lead to 13-6, but in the fourth quarter, right after a turnover, Tap has the ball. Cody Shive comes up with the heist. And one play after that, CHCA's Danny Vanatsky to Mason Bernhardt, and that pushes the CHCA lead to 26-20. 33-28 is the score in this game. CHCA leads it in the fourth quarter. We're just getting warmed up. More highlights on the horizon tonight. And in a moment, we're off to Indian Hill High School, a battle of the unbeaten teams. And I'll tell you what, it lived up to the billing. That's next when the frenzy continues.